Yo, Darius Britt here. So today is all about how to direct and act in the same film. As a film director, you're the gatekeeper, you're the tastemaker, you're kind of the surrogate audience. You decide where performances are working and which performances are not. But when you act in the same film, things get a little tricky because you don't get to have that person telling you what's working and what's not working. That person is you. Acting in your own film can be very terrifying, especially if you have a leading role or you're starring in your own film. Some people may find this task a little tougher than others. It's different for everybody. One thing worth noting is acting and directing are two different processes. As an actor, you're concerned with being inside of everything, inside the scene, inside the moment, reacting spontaneously. You're not really concerned about your appearance, how you look, how you're coming off, the tone of your voice. You're just concerned with being in the moment and reacting truthfully and honestly. But as a director, you have to step back and look at everything holistically, kind of from an outsider's point of view. You're more concerned with the flow of the story, how what happens in this scene may affect what happens 10 scenes from now. It's a very holistic, outside the box, looking in, objective type process. So number one, know your character. Acting and directing at the same time can really bring out your insecurities and before you know it, you're second guessing all of your acting choices and you're hypercritical of your performance. Yes, I know we're in the digital era, but you can't rewatch every take that you do and analyze every Everything that you've done because it's really gonna slow your set down and you're gonna fall way behind. Do your acting homework on your character. You will be much more confident in your choices, your acting choices, your directorial choices with regard to your character and you'll actually feel like you can take some risks here and there because you have a you have a springboard, a foundation to, to launch off on. But if you don't do your homework you're gonna be tripping on set. Believe me, it definitely helps if you wrote the script yourself because you're gonna have like pretty much an intimate knowledge of your characters and so on and so forth. But if you didn't write the script yourself, take the time to, to really know the script inside and out and know your character inside and out. Know your lines like the back of your hand. When you're on set, you're gonna be bouncing in and out of character frequently. One minute you're the director answering a million questions, setting up the next shot with your DP, dealing with location issues, and then the next minute, bam. You're just acting. There's not much of a transition at all. And it's tough. Like just making that transition in your mind all day long can be very jarring, very exhausting, and you don't get to just be an actor. You don't get to just study your lines in between takes or in between setups because you're directing when you're not acting. You have to do all these other things. So if you don't have your lines down and solid, then when you're under pressure and under stress, guess what? The lines aren't going to be there. Get a good AD. The bigger the production, the more important the assistant director's role becomes. You need an AD because you get so busy that you're thinking about everything else and the last thing you're thinking about is time. And that's how you get behind. Generally, they handle the logistics, the scheduling, and they make sure that everybody stays productive. And the big one, they keep an eye on time so that you don't have to. And also the AD is able to answer a lot of questions that the cast and crew have, which helps out immensely so that people aren't coming to you with every single question and bugging you all the damn time. If it's just you and a few friends and you got like a really, really small production, I, you know, you're probably not gonna go out of your way to get an AD, but assign someone to keep track of time and make sure that everything keeps moving. Get a good DP. You want a cameraman who's comfortable enough in his own job to take on additional duties such as looking out for you. The cinematographer or DP is perfect because he or she is already watching you in camera. I'm not too proud to say that my DP has saved my ass more than a few times. Or if not your DP, get someone that you can trust to look out for you. You need a second set of eyes on you. If you have an AD that you think is competent enough to do it, by all means do it. If you have a wife or something that just hangs out on set everywhere you go, I don't care who it is, but you need someone else to just look out for you because you can't see it all. It's tough enough as it is to act and direct at the same time, so you need somebody or a couple of people to just have your back and look out for you. Trust me, it makes a world of difference. Give yourself options in the editing room. Do not deliver all your lines the exact same way, take after take. Mix that shit up. Run your scenes a few different ways. Play with it. Make different acting choices. But you need to vary it up. You need to mix it up. And when you think that you have what you need, always do a safety. And if you can, do a throwaway take. Do a safety as in, you think you got it, but do it again to make sure you got it, making the same acting choice or whatnot. And then as far as a throwaway take, do a take where you just make a completely off the wall choice. Do the opposite of what you've been doing. You'll be surprised at how often you end up using takes that you never thought you would use. And that's it. Acting, directing could be a beast, but uh, you know, there's a couple tips. Some of these things I learned the hard way, but 
some of some of them I didn't learn the hard way, but you know, take what you will. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, please like or subscribe. If you found it useful, comment me, message me. Uh, if you have anything to say or if you've done it yourself, leave some comments below. I want to hear your experiences too. You want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, bam, there's a link. And um, yeah, deeper doubt. Yo, Darius Pretty here. So today we're talking about line readings. So what is a line reading? Well, a line reading is when you tell your actors how to say their lines with certain inflections or certain tones or certain emphases on certain words. For